is up everybody hello and welcome back to Kilbane's cave I am your host as always Kilbane so first off want to say uh, thank you to everybody who actually watched the first video I want to say a special thank you to anybody who watched the first video and felt inclined to tune into a second video because that makes you a little bit cooler in my eyes thank you very much for all that uh, I got like 36 views last I checked. Hey, that's more than I expected. I was expecting maybe 15. Uh, a few critiques that I got. Took, took some of your uh, tips and hints. Tried to work on that. I repositioned the camera a little bit. Uh, video quality looks a little better on it than it did on the last one. I apologize for that. But uh, dealing with a low-end uh, webcam has a tendency to not go so well. But I think this looks a little better. Uh, wasn't making a whole lot of eye contact, so... Worked on that, repositioning the camera. But hey, these things happen. They occur. This is, uh, this is, this is what we're trying to do here, you know. Anyway, uh, last one was the last resort. The last resort? I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Anyway, last blog was, in fact, uh, a little long-winded, a little, uh, all over the place. And uh, I'm working on that. Kind of a hyperactive person, so this thing happens. Oh, and the first thing I wanted to address, I got a complaint from one of my subscribers about uh, something about you know showing off the uh, damn fine cup of coffee cup and then not drinking any of the coffee. So, Wheels, JDV, this is for you, buddy. Damn fine cup of coffee. Anyway, so... Want to be a little more focused here, so this is what I'm going to tell y'all. What did I watch this week? It's been a pretty big week. A lot of some premieres, uh, a lot of good stuff. Uh, a couple things that I'm willing to talk about at least a little bit, and try not to be as long-winded as the last one. Uh, first thing on the list of what did I watch this week? Tuesday was a very important day for any fans of the horror genre. Uh, certain franchise finally put out another film. Been a couple years. Last one was really good too, and uh, well here it is, look at that, look at that cute guy right there, yep, that's right, Cult of Chucky, this came out Tuesday, was on my doorstep, Tuesday, I uh, watched it Tuesday night, and I just gotta say this much, fantastic, if you are a fan of the Chucky franchise, you will not be disappointed with this movie, I mean, you watch a Chucky movie because you want to see a few things. You want to see the Chucky doll. Check. You want to see that Chucky doll making smart smart aleck quips whilst murdering people. Check. You want to see the Chucky doll murdering people. Check. All of those are quite prevalent in this movie. Ah, uh, story's pretty good. Picks up pretty much where the last one picks up where Curse of Chucky left off for the most part. Uh, dealing with the lady, the girl from the first one. She's the main uh, antagonist of this film. And they bring back Andy, you know. Child's Play 1, 2, and 3 showed up at the very end of Curse last time. And he's a decent part of this film, too. I would say supporting character. He's not in all out of the movie, but he's in more than the last one. He's probably about a third of the movie, and it's pretty good. Um, Story-wise, definitely a Chucky story. No complaints about it at all. I'm going to go ahead and say it's probably uh, one of the better Chucky films. I mean, and they're all pretty good to me, and some of you also agree, I mean, I think we can all agree that Seed of Chucky was a little less than uh, desirable, I mean, it was really funny, but it wasn't nearly as gory, still, this one, great gore content, great script writing, and uh, definitely sets itself up for another movie, so, uh, if y'all are interested in uh, Chucky, go out, get yourself a copy, Cult of Chucky, and you will enjoy Anyway, after that, another uh, another show we started a couple weeks ago. So I forgot to mention it in my first blog, but uh, Fox is the Orville. That's the Seth MacFarlane uh, Star Trek themed show. I mean, it's essentially Star Trek The Next Generation light. It's not actually a Star Trek canon show, but there's so many homages to The Next Generation and every other series. And I mean, Seth MacFarlane writes it, so you know, he's got to throw in some pretty good jokes there. Uh, not as funny in spots as I initially thought it was going to be. But still, a lot of laughs every episode. Uh, this was the fourth episode. Probably the best episode so far. The one that actually felt 
like he found they found their footing. So, I mean, the, the story was really solid. Uh, enough jokes all throughout to uh, keep you entertained, keep you laughing. I laughed like crazy during some of the scenes, and I was pretty happy with it. Um, episode three, I was a little put off by that. I, some of you may have seen it, and some of you probably haven't. It's one of those things where the third episode dealt with a very prevalent uh, social issue, and I felt the way they handled it was um, unfavorable, if you will. I mean, obviously it's a Trek-type show, so they have their motivation. They want to show that, hey, maybe, maybe this crew can't always win them all. But still, I felt like it was a little too early in the show to have an episode that serious. And I'm kind of glad episode 4 brought it back to the funny, brought it back to a more Star Trek-like story. So, uh, that was another good, uh, good example of what I saw this week. And of course, on the topic of Star Trek, Star Trek Discovery, episode 3, popped up on CBS All Access Sunday night. I got a chance to watch it yesterday morning. Uh, this episode, we finally get to see the Discovery, and we're on the Discovery, finally. The first two episodes are more of a prologue to what happens to Michael Burnham, the main character, before becoming a part of the crew of the Discovery, which, if you haven't seen, I'm not going to spoil anything of it. Just stop. Uh, this episode was really good. Gave you a really good feel of where the show's going. There's a lot of mystery. Uh, Jason Isaacs playing Captain Lorca, probably my favorite thing of the episode. He's just... Jason Isaacs is one of those actors that... He owns everything that he is in, and he doesn't really make bad characters. He's just fantastic. Uh, the lead actress, I can't think of her name right now, but the character, Michael Burnham, also very intense, very smart, very enjoyable. Uh, alien on the, There's an alien on the uh, crew of the Discovery who was also on the crew of the ship in the first two episodes, and he's, I mean, he's quite amusing. He's uh, not really any comedy. In fact, I would say this Star Trek is... Um, very different than what is accomplished in the Star Trek universe to date. I mean, first off, this is the first ever completely serialized Star Trek show, which means the story up, story arc from one episode continues into the next episode and on and on throughout the season. And it's not like where they tip on, they touch on a story here and there, and then by the end of the episode, problem solved. No, it just kind of continues right there. There's not a solving of a problem in. Even in the first real episode of the show, I'm going to call three, the first real Discovery episode, you're introduced to a lot of action, uh, new characters, and mystery. There's some serious mysteries going on in there. So uh, anybody who hasn't taken their, cha taken their uh, flight on Discovery yet really should get on it. I mean, it's probably going to be uh, one of the best Star Trek shows ever if they uh, take it in the right direction. It's got a whole hell of a lot of potential, and I still am singing its phrases a lot. And then, let's see, what else did we watch? We watched uh, American Horror Story Cult. That season has been really phenomenal so far. Uh, obviously, uh, if you haven't seen it, it deals with the election from last year, and fallout from that and it's pretty terrifying in a lot of ways and I mean as far as I'm concerned American Horror Story hasn't made a whole lot of mistakes with their shows I mean I couldn't watch much of Roanoke so that might be the one exception but maybe if I went back and gave it a shot I'd appreciate it but uh this definitely feels like an American Horror Story episode season to me um the characters you know you got a lot of the returning cast members Evan Peters uh Sarah Paulson uh Oh, I don't know. There's, there's a whole bunch of them. A couple new ones. Uh, Billy Lord, Carrie Fisher's daughter. She's new to this season. Um, uh, can't think of the one girl, but she plays one of the main females on the show. And she's she's new to this season, and she's pretty awesome. Um, anyway, so American Horror Story Cold's going pretty good, in my opinion. There's, uh, again, a lot of what's going on, what's really going on. And, oh my god, is that what's really going on? Which is what makes American Horror Story worth watching. Uh, after that, uh, one of my staples for the last few years, man. I watched every episode of the show shortly after it aired. Uh, Gotham on Fox. Y Gotham has never done me wrong, if I'm being completely honest. I've loved every single episode of Gotham. I like where the story's going this season. It's a really good setup for early on. I mean, 
this season were involving the Scarecrow, which is the Scarecrow effects and the Scarecrow actors, just another prime example of how good of a show Gotham is. There isn't a single bad actor on that show, and they all own their characters, and I can't say enough good things about it. Pretty happy with it. Uh, premiere this week, maybe last week, say Friday, I believe, uh, season premiere of Lucifer. I believe it's on uh, season three now. Um, Lucifer, it's one of those shows that it's on Fox. Uh, I enjoy it. It's uh, written and executive produced by the same guy that did Californication, and I mean, Californication was an amazing show if you've never seen it, but it's uh, n it's an adult show, so don't, uh, don't let your kids watch Californication, but uh, if you want to get a good example of, you know, Tom Capino's work as a writer, Californication, the whole series was really good, and uh, Lucifer's in the same vein, but a lot more politically correct and more friendly, I mean... The lead character is Lucifer from hell, got sick of being in hell, and decided that he just wanted to live among the world, and now he met this detective that he's pretty much in love with, and uh, helps her solve crimes, because uh, we don't have enough procedurals in this world, I guess, so it works. It works for what it is. It's a pretty enjoyable show. The, the season opener, very strong. A lot of the elements that <coughs> we left were hanging on at the end of season two pick right up in season three, so that was another... Uh, good one for the TV watching. Um, so yeah, Lucifer. Uh, that's pretty much the rundown. I want to say the Cult of Chucky, Orville, Star Trek Discovery, Cult, Gotham, Lucifer. I don't think I'm leaving anything out, but if I am, I'll address it at some other point in time. Anyway, those are all uh, what I did this week. Uh, again, Cult of Chucky. If you are a fan of Chucky, you need to see Cult of Chucky as soon as you can because it's just one of those very enjoyable films. That's about all I got for right now. Uh, getting a little late for me. A little tired. Hence, you know, why I'm drinking the coffee to try to stay awake for this thing. I think that's all I got for right now. Um, sorry if you thought it was a little too brief on it or if you thought it was a little too long-winded. You know what? I'm not sorry either way. This is what you're going to get with me. The idea is this is an entertainment blog. I, sp I speak about entertainment things. Um, I also watch my professional wrestling, as I do every week. Um, Lucha Underground is coming to an end. It's only got a couple episodes left for the season, so we're on the big payoff of Ultima Lucha Trace. And ah, there was a rather bloody match. On Lucha Underground this week. Uh, I'm not going to give away results or anything. Because I don't remember everything. But uh, if you are a professional wrestling fan. And you've yet to watch any Lucha Underground. Get on Netflix. Or wherever else you can find it. And watch some Lucha Underground. Because uh, it really is one of the most entertaining professional wrestling shows out there. The match quality on that show was never weak. And even... Even what would be jobber matches are really good. I have fluff matches and the storyline matches, and they're all good. Uh, their promos were done a little weird, but Lucha Underground is definitely good wrestling. If you've not seen it, I recommend it. It's uh, executive produced by Robert Rodriguez, and Robert Rodriguez has made some of the greatest movies out there. So, you know. And the wrestlers are all from, like, AAA, which is one of the biggest Lucha Libre wrestling organizations in Mexico, and that's uh, really good. I mean, the match quality is never, never disappointing, and the storytelling is really very done, un very, correct me, done very uniquely. Uh, that's another one I recommend watching. And of course, I watch my Monday Night Raw, and I watch my WWE SmackDown Live, watch 205 Live. I haven't watched NXT in months, but, you know, uh, I keep meaning to get back to it, but I haven't. Uh, and that was a complete segue from what I was talking about, but it was a part of what I watched this week. So, hey, still falls under the same category. Well, anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed the second edition here, episode two of Kilbane's Cave. I think that's all I got for right now, guys. So, uh, let me know your thoughts, comments, criticisms, concerns. If you're being rude, I'll probably delete your comment because I just don't appreciate such things. Um, if you enjoy what you, if you enjoy what you see and you think you know somebody else who might enjoy it, Please share my video. Share it. I 40 views is pretty good for the first one. If I can get 
a couple more next time this time around awesome if not hey you know i'm just doing this for fun but anyway i uh, hope you appreciate the tweaks and adjustments that i made i think the video looks a little better currently myself uh see my pop figures behind me that's not all of them that's a very small portion of my pop figures they're lined up all pretty much along the walls here um i'm gonna finish watching the after trek show and i'm gonna go to bed so uh you folks have yourself a wonderful day and i will talk to you later